We are back with another episode of Film and Tea. Yes, and today is a very special episode of Film and Tea because today we are having an Adam's family tea party. Yes. Yes, with a Halloween themed tea set. Mm -hmm. We found an amazing tea set from David's Tea and it has all of their Halloween teas inside of it. Mm -hmm. And um, it's kind of fun. So we're gonna go open up this little puzzle box yeah. and show you what's inside. We don't know, but let's let's It'll let's check it out. All right, so we go through it. <laughs> the first two that we opened up: chocolate, the pumpkin <laughs> chocolates, yes. and those are um, chocolate macaroon flavored, mm -hmm. and they have black tea in them, so that's fun. Mm -hmm. um, we started punching out the chocolates, and then we moved on to the s'mores chai. That one looks fun because it has marshmallows in it, and who doesn't love s'mores? Um, yeah, more chocolates. Those mm -hmm. things are all on the right side. We didn't know that when we were opening yeah. it. It's just all chocolates on the right. The side is entirely chocolate. <laughs> yep. And then we got to the Magic Potion, which is the one that I chose. Um, that one's great. Then we got to some more chocolates. And then the Monster Mash. That's the one I picked. That has the coolest name. Monster Mash just sounds like it would be dope. We're gonna we're gonna try that one. And then we got to the Forever Nuts. And the worst name. Forever, you know, if you like, if you like nuts, why not? <laughs> and then pumpkin chai for those who are, you know, all about that pumpkin life. That pumpkin spice latte. <laughs> okay, so um, we're gonna try the chocolate. It's like yes. a coconut macaroon flavor. I love that I get this job to just try chocolate. Mm -hmm. uh, can we talk about his face? <laughs> this is like the ugliest. Look. Like he has like buck teeth, like a buck tooth little pumpkin. <laughs> it looks like it would be delicious though with a uh, Oh, it is coconut. pretty good. Coconut? Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, it's definitely coconut. It tastes like nutty. Like nutty. I, I don't really think it tastes like, I like there's supposed to be tea in it, right? Black tea? Mm -hmm. I don't want really to taste too much of black tea, but it still tastes like chocolate and I'm I'm all about the chocolate. <laughs> all right. So about it, but it does like taste like coconutty, so that's good. Yeah. Yay. Yay. Yay for so, chocolate. I'll mm -hmm. tell you about the tea that I chose. Um, my tea was the magic potion. Magic potion. It is literally, it looks like a magic potion. It's really pretty, guys. How it turned out blue, I have no idea. But I'll tell you the ingredients. Um, the magic potion has currants, apples, rose hips, raspberries, and blackberries. Mm. So that's, oh yeah, and a lot of rock sugar. Sugary sugar. Oh, sugar. So this that's is what it tastes nice. like. It's, you can taste the sweetness. It's very fruity, very sweet, and it's great if you love candy. It's candy, in a, candy? It's candy in a cup. All right, so mine is the Monster Mash, and Monster Mash has rubus, pumpkin, and cinnamon in it. I do like cinnamon, and so I'm excited for that. Wait, does it have in it? Yeah. yeah, it has cloves. Uh, nice. Ginger, nutmeg, all, like basically all Spicy. the fancy spices, yeah. Apple. Oh. <laughs> oh, that's super cinnamony. It kind of reminds me of Christmas. I know it's supposed to be Halloween, and it does look like Halloween. Like, so you taste the pumpkin. It looks like Halloween. I'd say I taste way more cinnamon than ginger? pumpkin. Ginger, I can taste some ginger, yeah. Mm, if you like ginger. Ginger and the, the cinnamon is really strong, a little bit of pumpkin. Probably, I would say maybe the cloves or nutmeg also I taste like a lot of. But, yeah, it reminds me more of Christmas. Like, I guess it's fall. Probably reminds me of a lot of, like, fall, the like, greens. The color greens. is so orange. If like, these, but the colors in both of these are super, like, very Halloween themed. I know. If you have, like, a see-through teapot and you yeah. can turn it on at night, that's going to be so much fun for Halloween. Yeah. That's just a cool idea. Yeah. It, does, it looks really, really cool. It kind of looks like I'm going to, I don't know, Brew. summon something yeah. with, like... Powers. Yeah. Powerful. And like a, powerful tea. What are those things called that witches use, the little pots? Yes, the witch's brew. The, yeah, yeah. The, the, I'm making that. I'm making a witch's <laughs> brew, guys. It's super dope. Uh, <laughs> so that's the tea. That's the tea, which was great. And I'm really glad because that brought some joy to my life today because <laughs> this movie definitely didn't. I'm really sad about it, man. Yeah. I love, well, I love the Adams Family. They're like my favorite them and the monsters like i just think they're so like i think they're so cool like the movie like the show from like what the 50s and then the movies oh my goodness like the wednesday adams from the movie was christina ritchie amazing 
So this movie being uh, not great really breaks every piece of my heart. And mm -hmm. so if you love the Adams family, just don't do it to yourself. <laughs> or if you're going to, like if you're just like, I have to watch it, I have to give it a chance, just like wait for it to come out on Netflix or something. So you just like, I don't know, fast forward to like Wednesday Adams parts, cause she's still dope. I don't know how she does it. Like the movie was not great. <laughs> it was kind of trash and like not very funny, but she's like still iconic. I, oh God, I love that chick. She's amazing. But yeah, man, like their parent, like Gomez and Morticia are just kind of like, okay. Morticia actually, I was not a fan of whoever like wrote and voiced her. I don't know who it was. Sorry if you love them. But she is just like not, not ideal. So Lurch is still too, super dope. Lurch is always the bomb, man. Love that guy. Go take your kids in. <laughs> yeah, I mean, if you need to take them, like, if you need to move here, like, your kids, like, take them. But I have to say, like, I didn't even think I heard a lot of kids, like, laughing in the movie either. Like, it wasn't, like, super funny. I mean, I, I feel like they were trying to, like, have, like, a really, like, great, like, message about, like, you know, being yourself and not... I, I yeah, like yeah, I think that was like the point of it, but at the same time I'm like, um, well, I don't think that message needed to be said in like an Adams family movie because they're like literally always themselves, regardless. So I don't know. It just seemed like a weird. Uh, it was not not ideal. Well, there don't you do go. it to yourself, guys. That's that. Sorry, that's a <laughs> bummer. <laughs> But uh, the next film will be better. Yeah, hopefully the next film will be better. And um, we'll be back chatting. next week with yeah. another uh, episode. Yes. So we will see you then. Tune and in thank in. you. And for fingers watching. crossed for an amazing movie next week. Yes. Bye. Bye.